to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I live in Okinawa with my husband and my two cats, and I like to record daily life in Okinawa, so if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. This weekend is actually a three-day weekend, and it is Saturday. It is already 11 o'clock. I got quite a bit of a late start because I worked last night, so I didn't get home until around 11 o'clock, which means we didn't go to bed until later, and then I ended up doing homework all morning, so we are just now getting our start to leave the house, um, and it's been kind of crazy in the house re today because there's like construction going on so I don't know if you can hear that it literally just started it's driving me crazy hopefully you can hear me fine but due to the construction I am just ready to get out the door so there's really no plans for the weekend so we're just gonna go with the flow and I will take you along first things first though coffee let's go So we ended up getting tacos at this place called, it's called Frankie's Tavern and it's actually attached to a couple of different shops. I don't know if they're owned by the same person but they all have this really fun, cool, like trendy hipster type of vibe. Um, and the place that we went to serves food and then they have a place next to them called Zygo Coffee. So we got a coffee there. Funny story though, I accidentally got two extra shots of es espresso because I would say my Japanese is pretty okay, but when it comes to certain things, yeah, it's just more difficult to order. So I was trying to explain to her, like I did everything perfectly in Japanese, and I was trying to explain to her though, I wanted an extra shot of espresso in both of our iced lattes. And she put two extra shots in mine and one in Aiden's. So mine's pretty spicy, but I love coffee, so it's not a big deal. It is much later now. It's already six o'clock. Um, originally, I planned to find something to do, but honestly, I think that Aiden was tired from the work week. I was tired from the work week. We both didn't sleep much last night and we kind of just wanted to relax. So we ended up after getting um, food, we went to the BX. We went to the dive store actually because we're going to try to go diving tomorrow, but I didn't have a wetsuit and Aiden needed a wetsuit. So we went to the dive shop. We actually spent quite some time there and then came back i read for a bit and then i fell asleep for like an hour and then i read a little bit longer and now like i said it's six o'clock so we're gonna get dinner soon i'm thinking indian food sounds really good because it's just like so rainy and gloomy and nothing sounds better than a nice bowl of curry with some naan it's like our favorite food we haven't had in a while so we'll get that and then probably just chill for the rest of the evening and then the fun stuff apparently starts tomorrow so we'll get food and go from there ready to go for our little free dive and we're just getting all of our stuff out we got our wetsuits Aiden's slippers my stuff and I'm nervous because I have not done this in over a year but we're bringing the GoPro so we'll take you along
did. She said, I want to call grandma, grandpa. It is one o'clock now, much later. But we, once we got back from diving, we FaceTimed Aiden's parents for a while. And then I knew I was going out at one o'clock. So we've just been kind of hanging out until then. But I wanted to talk about diving for a second. The water was pretty choppy. So it was like a little bit sketchy to be out there. There were just some things that was giving us red flags that we were like, okay, we should probably go back in. But it was like the perfect introduction for me to wear my wetsuit and my flippers and get comfortable being out there. So I'm glad we went. And then, yeah, like I said, we FaceTime Aiden's parents and now we're heading out. So I'm heading out to pick up two of my friends and then we're going to the bar sidelines, which was actually in a couple videos back just to like have little girlies day. Also, the weather is so much better than earlier. Everyone said it was gonna be rain today, but look how blue the sky is. I hope it's coming through. Beautiful day. I wanted to share this drink really quick because it's called Ukon no Chikara. Chikara. People just call it a liver drink and basically it's supposed to help you not be hung over the next day. I really couldn't tell you what's in it, but I'm guessing just like a ton of vitamins. Like basically like taking vitamins before you drink. It tastes like, do you know those Flintstone hard vitamins that you'd eat as a kid? Pretty much tastes like that, but like in a drink, which is not the best, but cheers. morning and I just wanted to give you a little rundown of my day yesterday so we ended up having the best time at sidelines I think we got there at like two o'clock and we didn't leave until after seven o'clock and we just sat there and talked for hours and it was just a good old time and then after that we hung out with Aiden's friends and we went to their house and just had some food and chilled and then we went home after that so it was just very chill vibes this morning I woke up it's Father's Day still in the States so I called my dad caught up for a little while and now we're heading over to get coffee which thank god because i have the worst caffeine headache right now and i need coffee asap so let's go do that got a cafe latte with an extra shot of espresso we got salmon and lox and they even put fresh herbs inside nice touch actually do like the lowest bag mm. it's so good mm. Mm. something about salmon and lox just hits different so we just had coffee at margie shea bagels and coffee and it's exactly what it sounds like they have coffee and bagels we both got the salmon and lox and then we both got ice cafe lattes with an extra shot of espresso and their coffee tastes so good. If you're in Yomi Ton, definitely go try Margie Shea Coffee and Bagels because they are a new business and we gotta support locals. So, 10 out of 10 recommend. Now we are headed over to JA, which is a local farmer's market slash co-op in Yomi Ton.
gonna show you everything we got from JA. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but JA is pretty much like a little co-op market where the locals sell a lot of their produce and whatnot. And you can get a lot of stuff for really cheap, like cheaper than the Japanese regular grocery store. So I'm gonna show you what we got. Firstly, this is my favorite dish that you can get there. I don't know what it's called though. I just call it kabocha salad, but it has like kabocha, which is Japanese squash, greens, onions, and it's like a sweet and savory dish. Aiden got some mozuku tempura. We got a whole platter of sushi, eggs, some beautiful rosemary sprigs, three cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, four bell peppers, two red, two yellow, four Japanese yams, two carrots, lastly, a big bag of salt. So that was our little haul. We definitely have to get some more groceries, but I'm gonna see what we have, and then we'll go to the actual grocery store later. Oh my goodness, you got your color on them. We're taking them for a walk. <laughs> so cute with your collar on, Nana. Okay. You want your backpack? There you go. There you go. Good girl. Let me see your foot. Good girl. Let me see your other foot. Can you get their leashes, boo? There we go. Okay, please be so careful. I think Matilda wants to get out. Oh, 